Tokyo, the world's largest mega city, and for the majority of travels to Japan, it's going to be their first stop. There is something for everyone in this city, but for me, I enjoy the vibrant nightlife. Now it can be a bit intimidating as a first time or solo traveler, so tonight I've recruited a local to help show us around, and uh, looks like here he comes now. All right, Max, thanks for showing us around tonight. What is going to be the first stop of many tonight? The first thing you need to do on any night out is to fuel up, get something to eat before the drinks really start flowing. Fortunately, the perfect place is right around the corner. So let's get going. We are standing in front of Omoide Yokocho, also known as Piss Alley. This is a collection of food stalls that sprung up after World War II where there was a black market. So they've been here ever since. It's a great place. It's smoky, it's noisy, and it's cheap. But that's where we're gonna go. Despite the colorful locals saying Omoide Yokocho smells much better than its nickname would have you believe with the smoky smell of yakitori, fried skewers filling the air. Being so close to Shinjuku Station, Japan's busiest, and with its brilliant, nostalgic aesthetics, you can expect this location to be almost completely packed with patrons after night falls, but it still absolutely makes for a great first stop. These small shops are called izakayas, a type of Japanese bar that will often only seat a small amount of people. Don't be shy if you see an open seat, jump in as rubbing shoulders is the norm and all part of the fun. You can expect to pay about two to 4,000 yen per person at places like this for a couple drinks and some completely unhealthy food. There's no need to worry too much about scams in this Yokocho, but you should be aware of what you order as our waitress cleverly convinced us to try these delicious salted prawns, which suspiciously did not have a price tag. We ended up spending 10,500 yen on our first stop, which isn't a terrible price, but in Japan, you can definitely get a lot more for a lot less. Fortunately, scams are rare in Japan, but they do happen in Shinjuku, so there are a couple things you should be aware of. Um, sometimes, you're, you have the misfortune just to walk into an establishment, but more often um, you're approached by a towel and they say, hey, maybe speaking good English like me, coming, coming to my place. Or you could be, um, these days, you could be a young man and maybe you meet this um, attractive woman on Tinder or one of the dating apps, and she suggests a place, suggests a place. When you go in there, you find out maybe you get a couple of highballs and maybe you get some of this. The bill comes out to $800, $2,000, and when you start freaking out, the girl is gone, and they have some really big guys back there, maybe one with a missing finger, and so they'll do a number of reasonable measures they'll propose, like, we'll walk you to your ATM, we'll take your credit card. I remember one of the first stories I heard, I read about when I was um, in high school was a Japanese man went to a bar in Kabukicho and it was on the third floor of a building and there were these um, organized crime guys they said hey you gotta pay and it was like something like two thousand dollars or something the guy jumped out the window and that story stuck in my head but um, you just need to keep your wits up with you he's cooking let him cook when it's time to pay the bill, you can say, Sumasan, okay, can you guys us? Okay, now if you want to split the bill, you can say, but some places won't allow it. After you've had something to eat, the next stop you absolutely need to visit is just a 10 minute walk away. This is Golden Guides, the middle of Shinjuku in Kabukicho. We have six alleys, we have 200 bars. Plus, and it is the place to come in Tokyo if you want to drink. Of the 200 bars in Golden Guy, many will have a cover charge. It could be 500, 800, 1,000 yen. And what you get are these. Um, it could be nuts. In a restaurant, it could be a bit of macaroni and cheese. And um, some people get all wrapped up when they say, I don't want this, I don't need this. That's not the point. You don't have to eat it, but what it does is it really covers a seating charge. Land in Japan is expensive. 
so you're just paying for that time. Not all bars have a seating charge, but um, if you do, if you do have a seating charge, you know, you'll probably get something like this. Some bars will be members only, so do not be offended if they refuse your entry, as there's always another bar right next door. Be sure to bring cash, as not every establishment will allow credit cards, and drinks will be priced from around 800 to 1300 yen. Asking for a Japanese menu is also a good way to avoid a foreign tax as some establishments will list English prices higher. With modern translation tools it is easy to order from a Japanese menu which typically have pictures of what you're getting but there is one particularly useful phrase that you should learn. A great phrase to learn is to ask for recommendations. Japanese bars might not seem too different from those in your home at first glance, but there is one thing that Japan does that is absolutely deadly. Nomi Hodai. Literally all you can drink, some establishments do away with the price per bottle and give you a set price and time in which you can drink as little or much more likely as much as you want starting from about 3,000 yen for an hour or two. This system is usually found at a concept bar which will have a theme such as maids, cat girls or in our case muscle mummies. Kin Niku Joshi in Ikebukuro will cost you 5,000 yen for 80 minutes of all you can drink and all you can lift muscle entertainment. These places are really unique and have a crazy high energy atmosphere which might be strange at first but forgetting your inhibitions and just enjoying the madness will leave you with some of the best memories from your trip to Japan. Just try not to drink too much even though it's unlimited as uh, surely you would want to remember what actually happened or uh, perhaps not. It's worth remembering that a lot of calories do come from drinking as the muscle girls were uh, kind enough to remind me. So if you feel a bit sluggish and want to get a bit of exercise or drinking just isn't your thing, a great choice is the VR Game Center at the base of Tokyo Tower, Red. Here you can enjoy augmented reality sports and games which surprisingly can build up quite a bit of a sweat. But since Max keeps letting me pick up the bill, it's time to get my revenge in this new robot boxing experience which puts you in a powered exoskeleton like Ripley from Aliens get away from her, you bitch. and lets you wail on your much, much smaller friends. Unfortunately, my plan to get Max drunk so I could box him out and look good by comparison failed as he could really throw hands and ended up taking two out of the three rounds. <laughs> Nursing my wounds, we grab a quick bite to eat at Unatoto, a restaurant that specializes in grilled eel covered in a sweet savory sauce over rice. Typically, unagi don is an expensive meal in Japan, especially in the recent years, but somehow they managed to keep the cost down with dons only costing 590 yen or 1100 for the double. Delicious and definitely worth trying, but they do close a bit early, so you might want to grab one after your first drink if you want to try it. And um, if their secret for keeping prices low is terrible, please don't tell me, as I want to keep enjoying my blissful ignorance. An important note for any night out in Japan is that trains stop running a bit earlier than what you'd expect from a modern big city, with some ending at 11.30 or just after midnight, which is why I recommend staying in Shinjuku on your nights out so you can stumble back to your hotel at the end. You can check out my guide on how to spend five nights in Tokyo here for more info on where to stay, but if you find yourself stranded, there are some alternatives. Karaoke is a popular choice until trains start running again at 5am, or you can sleep off a few hours in a comic cafe or capsule hotel but somehow 
Max is channeling his inner Energizer Bunny, which means we're going back to Golden Guy for the Nijikai round two. Now, here's a rule that you might not know from about 9.30 to 10.30 p.m. That's when all the tourists come. But you know when everyone comes? The Japanese, the hardcore drinkers and alcoholics, it's one in the morning, two in the morning. A lot of these places open uh, late and they shut down maybe five in the morning. So think about it. Are you a professional drinker or an alcoholic? Because that's gonna time it. Look at me right now. Do you see crowds of ports of people? No. That's because right now we have serious drinkers. And that's one of the experiences you want to consider when you come to Tokyo. Tokyo, largest city in the world, but they say it's the loneliest, but not this street. Here, you can call a person sitting next to you your brother as you both forget about your woes and just experience life. Any night out begins the way it begun, with something to eat, typically ramen. As the fatty goodness helps prevent you from feeling too bad the next morning, but for us, it's more fried food at Torikizoku. Torikizoku is my favorite izakaya, even though it's a chain, you can find them all across Japan, and not only is the quality phenomenal, the prices are excellent, with everything on the menu costing just 280 yen. Be sure to try the chicken nanban and nonkatsu karage. Also, they serve all their fries with butter. So much for that exercise at Red Tokyo Tower. Fish are What? I'm a good singer. All right, Max, thanks for being our guide tonight. Oh. Although I'm pretty sure some of your boxing moves weren't legal. I mean, you gave me a bruise and everything. <laughs> you deserved it. Any uh, final words of wisdom for us? Yeah, you know, you don't want to fight with me because if you, when you show hands, I will pound you. Mm -hmm. And you have a very generous offer, don't you? Well, what, what's my offer? You said that anyone that uh, likes the video, you'll personally show them around Tokyo. <laughs> Okay, yeah, I'll think about that. <laughs> I'll think about that.